Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So your name again? My name is Somali Neal with Intuitive Surgery. And we have the DaVinci Surgical System. Yep. This is a $2 million machine? Um, roughly around there. Roughly. Great. So it's worth more than like three times my life. So uh, what exactly is this tool used for? It's used for minimally invasive surgeries. So this is what you're sitting at right now is a surgical console. So during a procedure, this is where the surgeon would be sitting and the patient would be um, on the surgical table. And these gastric controllers actually would control the instrumentation that are in the patient's body. Okay. okay. So is this is this beyond laparoscopic surgery then? Um, it's sort of the next step in laparoscopic surgery, the next evolution of laparoscopic surgery. And what would be the differences? So um, there's a couple major differences. One is that in the console, we can't really get a good view from here. For you, you've got 3D HD visualization. So instead of looking at a 2D monitor screen, which is what they've been doing for 20, 30 years, they now have depth. So it allows them to do, um, allows them to see better and do better dissection. Um, in addition to that, the instrumentation actually has a wrist on it. So standard laparoscopic instruments can only kind of go in like this rotate it open and close, whereas this actually allows it to articulate 180 degrees. Alright, okay. so I'm going to perform surgery? You're, we're going to simulate okay. some exercises, Great. this is what surgeons might use to get practice on the, on the robot, so rather than practicing on a person, obviously this is the best tool to allow them to get good at using the robot. Okay. They've been doing the procedure for years and years and years, so they're good at that, but they're not necessarily good at the beginning is driving the system, so that's what this allows them to do. Is kind of <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're going to actually use your um, thumb and index finger, so you can finger there. Yeah. That's really lightweight. It is. Okay, so you're going to lower it down for a little bit. Because I'm short. <laughs> okay, and then go ahead and pop your head in there. And then she'll be able to see a preview of what um, I see? Yep, actually the screen up here will show you. Okay. Okay, so with one of your hands, I'm going to use it like a mouse. So just go ahead and exit out of there. We're going to go down to the bottom. And then Open and close to click. And then we're going to launch the exercise. Sorry, Mike. <laughs> okay, so launch the exercise. Yep. So you can your hands just a little back and forth. Just a little open and close one of your hands. There you go. And launch. So that's what's going to reset this exercise. And then the goal of this particular exercise is to wrap up the jacks. Yeah, I'm seeing 3D. So we're going to put the red jacks into the red band, the yellow, the yellow, the red, blue. Okay. So the first thing he wants you to do is match the grips to take control of the instruments. So that's a simple open and close with both hands. There you go. Okay. Control. Now, is this a live preview? So this is actually just um, software that was developed actually locally here in Seattle. Really? So Mimic is the company that designed this in collaboration with us. And it's just a, a software backpack that sits on the console. The benefit is that the surgeon is using the exact same console that they would be using in a procedure. Wow. So it's not like they're practicing on something else and going to the procedure and feeling it's not quite the same. You're doing a very nice job. Well, at least I'm not operating on anything but the screen. Wow, this is wild. Oh. Okay, great. <laughs> like, I'm do 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 do. You want to go faster? You can tell. Yeah, like, boom, boom. Oh. Nice score. Hey, and that's that too bad. Great score <laughs> so, no one died on the table. For our very first time. Yep, mm -hmm. so obviously, this is just one exercise out of many. Obviously, started you on the easier one just to get you acclimated to it, and then there's, there's more advanced procedures. That's pretty well. So, how many of these are out there? Um, there I believe there's 33 or 34 in Washington State alone. Um, so, almost every hospital, major hospital, has at least one. That's pretty cool. You want to try it? Sure. <laughs>